Welcome to our discussion on active transport mechanisms in cells. Processes that require energy to move molecules across the cell membrane. Unlike passive transport where substances move down their concentration gradient, active transport moves substances against their concentration gradient from areas of low concentration to high concentration. This process is essential for maintaining cellular functions, especially when cells need to regulate ion concentrations or transport large molecules. Today, we'll focus on two key forms of active transport, the sodium-potassium pump and bulk or vesicular transport. Let's explore how cells use energy to achieve this. First, let's look at one of the most well-known examples of active transport, the sodium-potassium pump. This pump is crucial for maintaining the electrochemical gradient in cells, especially in nerve and muscle cells. Here's how it works. The sodium-potassium pump moves sodium ions out of the cell and potassium ions into the cell both against their concentration gradients. This movement requires energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate or ATP. The sodium-potassium pump is vital for processes like nerve impulse transmission and muscle contractions. The pump operates in a cycle. First, three sodium ions inside the cell bind to the pump. Next, ATP is hydrolyzed, releasing energy and causing the pump to change shape, moving the sodium ions out of the cell. Then, two potassium ions from outside the cell bind to the pump, and the pump returns to its original shape, releasing the potassium ions into the cell. This 3-2 exchange of sodium and potassium ions helps maintain the cell's membrane potential, where the inside of the cell remains more negative compared to the outside. This difference in charge is essential for creating action potentials in neurons, allowing for rapid electrical signaling. While the sodium-potassium pump moves small ions, Cells also need to transport larger molecules or even whole particles. This is done through bulk transport, also known as vesicular transport, a type of active transport that uses vesicles or small membrane bound sacs to move materials into or out of the cell. There are two primary forms of bulk transport. Endocytosis. This process brings materials into the cell. There are two major types. Phagocytosis, also known as cell eating. This process involves the engulfing of large particles such as bacteria or cell debris. The plasma membrane surrounds the particle, creating a vesicle that brings it into the cell for digestion. Pinocytosis, also called cell drinking. Pinocytosis allows the cell to take in extracellular fluid and dissolved substances, forming small vesicles that bring these materials into the cell. Another important form of endocytosis is receptor mediated endocytosis where cells use surface receptors to capture specific molecules like hormones or nutrients and bring them into the cell in vesicles. Then we have exocytosis. This is the process by which cells move materials out of the cell. Vesicles containing substances like waste products, hormones, or neurotransmitters fuse with the plasma membrane, releasing their contents into the extracellular environment. Exocytosis is critical in processes such as neurotransmitter release in neurons and hormone secretion in glands. 
Active transport mechanisms are essential for maintaining the internal balance of cells and allowing them to perform vital functions. Both the sodium-potassium pump and bulk transport are examples of active transport, meaning they require energy to move substances. However, they operate in different ways. The sodium-potassium pump is a form of primary active transport, where ATP directly powers the movement of ions against their concentration gradients, keeping the cell's ion balance in check which is crucial for electrical signaling in neurons and muscle contractions. Vesicular transport involves moving larger molecules or particles in bulk using vesicles and ATP to take in large nutrients, remove waste, and release essential molecules such as hormones for communication with other cells.